Hi everyone. Right, I'm hoping you are all hearing me fine. Just gonna get my tablet to work. And then we'll be starting. So just hold on one second, just waiting for my tablet to work. For some reason it's not complying. Let's just close that off, start it again. Hopefully it'll start in a moment. Yeah, how are we all doing? Are we all okay? Are we all all right? Right, let me just see where we're at. Um, There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. There we are. Right, yes, how are we all? I can only see one person at the moment. So hopefully I'll have some more people join in a moment. I'll just hold on a second. Uh, yep, just hold on a moment. Hi, Rita. Well done for joining us. Just trying to get my tablet to work. There we go. Hopefully that's that's it now. Cool. Right. Oh, actually, no, my yes, is it up to date? Oh, I don't know if I'm to... My tablet is up to date. That's good. Right. Yes. So you're here, Rita. Anybody else with us? I'm just going to wait. We've only got four people on at the moment. So I'm just going to hold on a second. And then I've got some uh, just little bits I need to mention before we start. Bits to remind people of and the rest of it, news and stuff like that. So I shall just hold on a moment because we've only got a few of us. Hi, Karen from Arkansas. See, I'll get it right this time. <laughs> I remembered. It's not how I said it before. It's Arkansas. So hello. Um, oh, hi, Teresa. I'm from church. You're in church. Wow. Okay. I hope you're not in the middle of a service. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to wait for a few more. We've only got 12 so far. So we'll just hold on a memento. And then we'll make a start. This car is actually something that um, Virginia. Oh, okay. I oh, know, Karen, I finally got it right. Um, yeah, this car was actually um, one I did oh, a couple of years ago now. And a demo. And uh, yeah, I thought we'd revisit it today. Hi Anne, seven thirty here in Peru. Wow, okay, Indiana. Oh, nice. Wow, it's so mad. The time zones always, you know, baffle me. Hi Rosemary, Perth, Western Australia. Very nice. Got all kinds of parts of the world, haven't we? Really have. Arkansas, Virginia, Indiana, and Western Australia. Fabulous. Oh, and Cindy, hello from Laurenburg. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Well, the sun's out here, which is always good. It's always good to have the sun out. Uh, hi, Liz from Minnesota. Wow, 6.30 a.m. Goodness me, you're, you're a committed crafter. You are devoted. Getting up at half six, my goodness. Thank you, Rosemary. It's very, very kind of you. I've had a bit of a bad morning this morning, but it's got better now. So I was rushing around trying to get my son to school, and then um, he accidentally stood on our new kitten. So the kitten wasn't very happy. And then not very shortly after that, about 10 minutes after that, I accidentally stood on her too, because she likes to get under your feet. But I ended up on the floor, so I bashed my knee, so I'm limping a little bit. Hi, Gina from the UK. Hope it's sunny where you are as well, Gina. Hopefully. I'm just going to hold on a little bit longer, just wait for a few more people to come in. And then I shall just run through a few little bits. Um... Right, I've got 20. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through. So basically, um, I don't know... I know, quite rosy. <laughs> bit, bit bruised, but it's fine. We're okay. Kitten's fine as well. She was my main concern, to be honest with you. But no, she's fine. Um, a bit of a bruised paw, bless her. But she's fine. She's jumping around, playing with everything. So I know, Karen, isn't it just? Dear me. Um, hi, Alina from the Philippines. Wow, we really have got the four corners of the world, which is good. I like having everyone from all over the place. Right, okay, so a few things just to mention as well. Um, I've got a Google folder, so if you ever make any uh, cards, you know, any of the designs we do, any of the video tutorials, if you ever make any of them and you want to share them, show everybody, then please um, go onto the Google, Google folder. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. I know I still haven't done the description from last week's live stream. I've just been trying to get ahead. I've been trying to sort out lots of things. I had a few problems with video editing, so I've changed my software now, so that helps. But yeah, it's all been a bit all over the place. Um, so, yeah, so there's a Google folder, so I shall share that below at some point afterwards. Um, also, the Antonio Digital Kits. I've had quite a few people saying, I live in wherever, and can I still, you know, does he ship to me? Digi the way a digital kit works is 
you go onto the website and buy the kit and then Antonio will send you the files on your computer. He'll email you the files. And so basically what it means is it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have access to the, a computer and the internet, you can get the files. And then once you've got the files, you then literally just open them up on your computer and then they open up as either a PDF or a JPEG and then you can just print them off. Um, laser printers are better. It is very ink heavy. But if you don't have a laser printer or you don't have access to one, see if you can find a photocopying, colour photocopying shop or some because quite a lot of places do that now. Um, because it would still probably, I would imagine it will still work out, um, yeah, re about the same as buying a pad of paper, except for obviously you get to choose which ones you want to print off. So you don't, if there's certain ones you don't like, you don't have to print those off. So yeah, just print out what you need. So that's that. Um, with Coco Rosa Studio, I'm actually using the die today. I'm actually going to use this star die again today. Please don't forget to use my code ICED15 because not only does it give you 15% off, it also helps me out as well. Okay, so just don't forget. I had one lady, um, so she's forgotten to use it. And I was like, no, don't forget. So yeah, please don't forget. ICED15, they've made it a lot easier to remember instead of the L and then all the numbers. Um, so we'll be using that die in a minute. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say was, if you want to help support the channel, please do. Um, at the moment, I don't think, when I'm live stream, you can't actually do it. But after the live stream's finished and gone out, you can actually, in between the share and the download icon on your, um, underneath where the, you know, the picture is, the, the video is, um, it, there's a little heart that says, say thanks. So if you click on that, you can then um, donate a one-off if you want to. Um, I've also set up a membership. Now, some people ask me about the whole buy me a coffee thing, and I, I still can't work out exactly how to do it. I've got a friend of mine who says she might be able to help me, so hopefully I'll be able to get that sorted out. But in the interim, I've sorted out like a membership. So it's two ninety nine a month, and I've called it buy me a coffee. And so basically what it is, it just helps me out. Obviously, cost of living is going up, bills are going up, prices are going up, everything's going up. So um, I just, yeah, so any help you can helps me basically. And it helps me to keep the channel going. I would like to be able to pay my bills, but with the money that I earn from YouTube, that's what my goal is to be able to do. Um, at the moment, I can't at all. Uh, so it's very much, yeah, it, it's, yeah, I need, I need to be earning more. So yeah, <laughs> um, PayPal, I haven't got PayPal set up, to be honest. You might be able to do PayPal via YouTube, possibly. I'm not sure how it works. If you have a look afterwards, have a look on the um, under the memberships and also have a look under the say thanks because you might be able to pay YouTube with PayPal. So just have a look on there and see. Um, I'm still very new to how it all works um, to the point where I spent ages trying to sort out the membership at the weekend, um, got it sorted and then um, I still can't, I had to make little emojis and things. You, with that membership, you get little emojis to use. So if you comment, you can put special emojis in the chat and stuff like that. So, yeah, have a look. I can't remember all the things that I put in there. But anyway, um, but yes, yeah, so there's that. And then the other thing as well was in October, the 10th, the 17th and the 24th, I'm not going to be able to live stream on those days. So what I'll be doing is uploading edited live streams from previous live streams on those days okay so one that one of the days i'm in london and then the other two days my son is on half term holiday so yeah right enough waffle over so anyway today i thought we'd have a go at an internal shadow box card now this is a card i did say ages ago um and so this was actually my original sample from a demo that i did so um you open it up and inside you've got a little box that pops up it's nice and easy um well i say nice and easy it's relatively easy and you don't have to put that strut in if you don't want to put that strut in you don't have to put it in but that's that's a, a, an idea if you wanted to you could have something dangling down from the aperture you could have a bit of acetate across and something across i think that's what i'm going to do today is i'm going to do the acetate if you need me to show you how to do the strut i can show you how to do the strut across the middle um but yeah but that's the card and this is actually a well the one we're doing is folds down to make a six by four so it's quite a nice size and a lot of people don't necessarily like the bigger sizes. So I've gone down a little bit for this one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So um, let's bring in our bits. OK, so I've got a few bits. I've tried to cut out what I can in advance. 
just so that you guys don't have to listen to me waffle on much longer than you need to. So to start with, you're going to need two base pieces that are four inches by 12 inches. If you don't have 12 by 12 cardstock, you can use an A4, but you're just going to need to tweak your um, measurements on your uh, mats and layers, that's all. So what I would do is do the score lines that I'm doing, and it will just mean that this last bit here, this bit here, will just be a little bit shorter, that's all. So you can use, as I said, you can use a, um, uh, a, a A4 length if you want to, 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters, whatever. But it just means that this will be a different size. OK, so that's that's the only thing. But if you just follow the measurements anyway, um, should work out, hopefully. Hi, Mrs. Craft from Ontario in Canada. Wonderful, wonderful. Lots of different people. Right. OK, so get your um card base now the first one you're going to score in half at six inches so obviously if you're doing it slightly smaller you just need to fold whatever half is halfway and we're going to fold that in half so that basically makes like a landscape four by six um card blank basically so that's your landscape card blank then on the other one you're going to score it at four inches at eight inches and at 10 inches. Okay, I'll just put this away. Right, so then this one here, I was turned it round so that my four inch, my four by four piece is on the left. And you wanna go valley, mountain, valley. So we're gonna score and fold, not score, we're gonna fold these. So that's the first one, the valley. And we've got a mountain. Let's do our mountain. Oh, and then we've got a valley. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you end up with that. It's kind of like a um like a zigzaggy type Z foldy type card. Right, so then if you want to bring in your um, card blank, before we start sticking that piece in the middle of it, we're going to put um, a mat and layer on the front. Okay, so for your front and back, because you're going to write on the back, otherwise you haven't really got much space, you need two mat pieces that are three and three quarter by five and three quarter. Um, and then one pattern, so that's going to go on the back, and then one pattern piece that is three and a half by five and a half, which goes on the front of this. So that's going to go on the front of the card like that. And then this is going to go on the back. And then you really need a white piece that's the same size as your pattern. I didn't have a piece, so I made mine kind of square. So <laughs> it's fine, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some stars going down the side so it kind of works. But um, yeah, so right, I'm going to go ahead and stick these on the front now. Yeah, so Karen, you're saying that's a normal side in the US. I know you guys do a kind of a smaller a size, don't you? Um, I still can't get my head around all the different sizes that all the different countries and whatever use. Because um, I know in Australia, they also do a different size. Um, yeah, so hopefully then this one should be kind of not too expensive to post for you guys then. It's a six by four, hopefully. As long as you don't make it too chunky. Do you have restrictions on the chunkiness of your cards or not? We do. We didn't used to, but we do now. So that kind of help doesn't help matters. Um, right, stick this down. I'm not going to stick the white bit down just yet because I'm I might want to have stars coming out from behind the white panel. So I'm just going to stick my mat down for now. Hi, Nicole from Perth, another Western Australia person. Fabulous. Right, okay, so that's that there. So I've done the front, stuck the front down, and then I've just put the mat on the back. Right, so now we're going to bring this one in and we're going to decorate this, this one up. So with this one here, in fact, before we decorate it, we need to sort out um, making our uh, aperture in the middle. So with that, I've cut out... So in total, you need... Let me just tell you the total sizes. So in total, you are going to need... 
three pieces, and it all depends on whether you're decorating. Let me just show you the original card again. So on the inside here, look, I've decorated this square, this square, but I haven't decorated the front of my card. So if you, I am going to decorate the front of my, my card today, just in case you want to. Um, but if you don't want to, you only need two squares that are matte squares that are three and three quarter by three and three quarter and two patterns that are three and a half by three and a half. If you want to cut a aperture out, then um, you'll need a third, and you want, not if you want to cut an aperture out, if you want pattern paper on this piece here where you're cutting the aperture out, then obviously you need three squares, not just two, okay? So you need two or three, depending on what you're doing. And then of these rectangles, you need three rectangles and the mat is one and three quarter by three and three quarter, and the pattern is one and a half by three and a half. Okay, so that's what you need for that. So I've gone ahead and stuck down one of my patterns for here, one of my pattern and mats for there, and then all my rectangles. But I haven't stuck down the one that's going to go at the front here because we need to cut an aperture out of it. So I'm just going to put um, this to one side. So what I'm going to do first is take my pattern piece and I've got uh, these two little um, dies and don't ask me where they're from because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I got them from. Um, I need a drink. <coughs> running out of a... Uh... <coughs> running out of thing. Yeah, I don't know where they're from. But anyway, I'm going to... Um, just going to put my die on the top there now that takes up quite a lot of my um finished piece i'm actually going to put some i'm going to put some tape on the back first so that then when i die cut i'm not going to struggle to um cut it you know what i mean hi everyone who's just joined hi who have we got we have carolyn hello from oregon yeah that's right isn't it and Karen from New York, and then and Maggie, fabulous from the UK, excellent. Right, let me just stick this tape down. I'm gonna stick this on. So I was going to use wet glue to stick this down with, but because, as I said, the frame really does go right to the outside, so I'm going to use tape instead. So there's my tape like that so then that's going to go on there like that i'm just going to cut that out let me just um sellotape not sellotape washi tape i know apertures i know i know i know karen i know <laughs> i don't like aperture cards but i was like i really like this card even though it is an aperture card if you haven't got dies you can obviously use you know a roll of tape um a punch Whatever, you can use whatever you want. Right, so that's that one. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to cut out that aperture. So this is the biggest aperture. This is the biggest one. So let's just put this in. And we're going to cut it out. And the reason why I'm doing the biggest on the pattern is so that then I end up with... Um, I end up with a red border around the inside. So that's that. I'm going to move that this away and bring it back in again in a minute. Oh. Okay, so let's take the tape off here. Very carefully. There we go. Okay, so there's my first aperture. There. So then I'm going to take my um, red piece. And I'm actually wondering whether I dare try to cut the two pieces together this could be dangerous it might not work because that is quite thick i don't think i dare to do it so i think what we'll do is we will just um cut it out of here first and then and then we will um cut it out of the white one i think that's probably the best thing to do right so that needs to go there like that so i've just placed that back on again so i can see where i'm going with it and then I know that's in the right position. And then I'm just going to stick that back on like that. And then run it through the machine. Oh, that's heavy. There we go. Right, so let's run it through. It doesn't look completely central, but it does match up with the other one. So I'm just going to go with it. So 
So I'm going to run that through and I haven't stuck tape on this one simply because I've got a larger border and I can glue that without too much trouble. Okay, let's take the tape off. There we go, take the tape off there, like that. And there's another red one. Right, so that's that one done. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick this onto here before I forget which way around it's supposed to be. I did leave quite a big gap, um, like frame, because I, I did have a slightly larger um, nesting die that I could have put on. But um, I decided to go, I wanted a bigger frame than just a little bit of red. I wanted a bigger bit of red. So that's why I've got quite a big, thick red frame. So we're going to take this off. If the tape will let me. So bear with. Okay, there we go. Just fold that bit in. Now I think it was that way around. Yes, it was. Okay, so let's just line this up. Get it all in the right place. About there. And stick it down. Okay, that's that bit there. And this bit here. Right. Okay, so that's what you end up with. So I have got quite a bigger border in there, actually, with hindsight. I probably wouldn't have gone quite that big. But anyway, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We can, we can deal with it. So now I'm going to get my card. And you have to make sure your square is on the left and your rectangles are on the right. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it on there like that and then I'm going to take my die and I'm going to put it pop, pop it straight back in like a, a jigsaw piece and then take a pencil and I'm literally just going to draw around probably just these two oh, I could do this one as well and I'm deliberately doing where the um this bits are whatever that's called as you can see, my power with words is not great today. So yeah, I've done that. So that then means I know where to where my registration lines are for positioning my die. And I deliberately put the die in rather than drawing around the aperture itself. So then I could see uh, I can see the lines once I put the die back on. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to run that one through and cut it out. Okay. Let's just put that on like that. Now I'm a bit concerned that I'm going to end up with a scruffy looking card because sometimes you get imprints on your card. So I'm just going to run it through only as far as I need to. There we go. Okay, so. Right, so there's your aperture. So let's take this out. If you wanted to and you really weren't sure which way you know like you were worried about lining it all up then you could always cut it to the bigger size and then have that on the top so then you haven't got to worry about you know it not managing up not lining up but actually that lines up fine so i'm going to go ahead now and stick this onto there and then i am going to go ahead and stick the other pattern pieces onto here and then we can kind of start to stick it together and add the other pattern pieces in um the other thing as well is I want to do an acetate strip across this one. So I will need to put that in before I start assembling. So let's just glue this down. Using wet glue because it makes it easier to line it all up. Okay. There we go. And if I'd have thought about it before I stuck that down, I could have put the acetate in between this red panel and the white card. But I didn't think about that. Yes, Rita, absolutely. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe, notification, etc. I'm going to use that piece there. In fact, do I even need that? No. Mm. Yeah, I think I will. That's my greeting. But I think I will use a little bit of acetate on the back. Just because there's only a tiny bit of card that's going to actually be stuck to the edges. So if I add a bit of acetate on the back, 
it means I can stick the whole thing down. So let's do that. So I'm going to use a little bit of red tape. Um, so I'm using a little bit of red tape on the back here. Let's get rid of the tape. There we go. And I just realised I've got a hole in that end. And I don't want the tape to the stickiness to poke through. There we go. Right. A little bit there and a little bit here, like that. And I'm just going to take the backing off. All fingers and thumbs today. There we go. Right, so then we're going to turn this over. This is the inside of my aperture. I'm just going to stick this across there like that. So if I turn it over, You've got a bit of an acetate bit in the middle there. You can probably see it, maybe, yep. And then that will stick on the front there. And I'm going to stick it straight on, I think. Uh, it might be quite nice if it was slightly forward. Uh, it's going to add extra bulk, but I am going to put it slightly forward because I feel it needs to be a little bit further forward. So I'm just going to use these um, foam squares. They're only one mil thick. So they're really nice for if you want to add a little bit of you know, pop, but you don't want to go completely crazy and it doesn't mean that you, your poster is going to be over the, you know, through the roof. So I'm going to use those. And I do think that it needs a bit of a pop, otherwise it's a little bit flat. Right, so that's going to go on there like that. Because I've put the acetate strip in, I know that it's going to be fine. That still looks quite flat, but I have popped it up. Okay, anyway, I have popped it up. It's just because I think it's because of the, the depth of the card. Anyway, never mind. It is what it is, so that's fine. Right, okay, so now we need to add our pattern piece there that we mentioned before. So it's exactly the same size as these. So that's going to go there. And then these two, which I also mentioned before, these are going to go there and there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. Uh, yes, Karen, thank you. Um, it's getting there. It's getting there. I really wasn't sure what to do for today's live stream, I have to say. So last night I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I'm literally, it's tomorrow. What are we going to do? Um, and then I just happened, because I'd been going through uh, for a demo that I did in 2019. I still have a whole box of cards that I hadn't had a chance to put away in drawers and whatever, uh, you know, find in the relevant places. And so I came across this and thought, oh, have I done that before? And I looked over through my videos and discovered that, no, I haven't done this card before. So I thought, right, let's do it. And also because I have another idea of a variation for it, which I need to try and work out if it's going to work or not. So I thought, right, let me do the original first, remind myself of how that works, and then we'll move on and possibly do a variation another week. So that was the idea behind it. Um, for those of you who have seen the Antonio Makes video that went up on, well, last night, at like midnight or some ridiculous time, um, I'd literally just finished editing it. Uh, yeah, the, the two cards that everyone loved, the blue one and the purple one, I am actually doing tutorials for those. They're coming up soon. So stay tuned for that one. Right, okay, so there we have, that's the, um, that bit done and if you bring the card blank in this one here we're going to need to put um, the red sorry the square here and the rectangle needs to go there okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that can I get them all the same way yeah like that so I want the diagonal lines going the same way so I'm going to stick these down and then I'm also before we start putting it together I'm also going to add in my stars that I've got and I'm hoping you'll be able to see them through the window although I have blocked up quite a lot of my aperture with that greeting so we'll have to see we'll have to see it might not go quite as well according to plan as I wanted it to but we will see it's been one of those days yes um I am thinking of updating some of my older cards because some of those videos are shocking <laughs> just shocking I look back at them and I'm like oh my days Really? Wow. Yeah, they are shocking. So yeah, I have thought about that. 
I have thought about that, Cindy, definitely. <laughs> That's definitely an option, <laughs> definitely an option. I have got some requests as well still to do. Um, one of them I'm running away from because I don't feel comfortable doing it because it's just quite difficult and I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. Um, so yeah, if you have requested a card, I do look at it and I might well do it, but it just <laughs> I've just got to get my head around it first. Okay, so we've done that. So then what I did was I cut out using this is actually paper mill direct this card uh, i think it's called stardust silver i think it's called but i really like it because i just love the little it's kind of shimmery but it's got a kind of a texture to it as well oh, let me move it over so more so you can see um it's just really cool so anyway so i've cut those out so what i thought we would do is i was thinking about um in fact, was this, no, this was going to go in here. Yeah, I was thinking about using this on here and just cutting some of these off, off of here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is... Now, have I got... I'll probably use glue, actually, on the back of those. So I think I'm going to stick some down and then I'm going to... Uh, yeah, so the other thing is, how much are we going to see through the window that's the other thing oh, yeah now you see the big star okay so what i might do actually i think i might just cut the big star off for now and then um i'm gonna cut the big star off for now and then i think i'm gonna add some of the little ones afterwards let's just go up here and then go down here So there's my big star so i'm going to put that in the middle like that and then i'm going to put some of these little ones i think coming up i might even so i like these two so i might leave those two on i might even cut down there i probably should have left that stalk on that one but anyway i didn't so i'm going to take that off up there like that and then i'm just going to add a little bit of uh oh, let me use glue actually thank you linda i'm glad I, I don't always feel like i do but i'm glad that you think i do so that's good <laughs> i'm glad that i'm easy to follow um i think having a craft class helps because i quite often get asked questions or people get confused about things i wouldn't even thought that anybody would get confused about so then it makes me think in a different way right let's stick this on here like that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my keep it pressed down so it decides to stick. And I need to try and make sure I don't get any glue on that silver because it'll take the top off it because I've used Yoohoo. Right, and then this one here, I'm actually gonna use my um what's where is it gone? Yeah, my Anita's tacky glue. Right, so let me stick this down. Yeah, it's true. It's true, Nicole, you do. It's just, you know, obviously being on any kind of social media, you always end up with people being horrible. But I, thankfully, I don't really have that much of it. And I'm kind of, you know, you kind of get, when you're older, I, I mean, I, you know, I was bullied for quite a lot of my childhood. So you kind of get used. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really care. So, yeah, it's like, you know, whatever whatever right let's just snip this bit off here oh there we go oh, it's a bit wonky now there we are don't be wonky there we go so that's that one on and then i'm just going to cut some of the little stars off i think i quite like these big ones being next to them and then i was thinking about having some coming down as well maybe so let's take that bit off there like that and the same off this side. So this is the other thing I like about this die. You can really, you know, you can really use it however you want to use it. I'm going to cut it off about there. Because then that's going to be enough to have that come in there like that. And the same on this side. Or actually, maybe I want a little one. Mm, might have that further down there. Oh, I quite like it high. 
Oh, I'm going to have it even either side. Living dangerously today. Living dangerously today. Right, let's stick this down. I'm going to use this um, Anita Tacky glue again because it's nice and fine. There we go. Right. Stick that down on there like that. There we go. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Rita. Yeah. And Clelia. Is that your name from Uruguay? Nice name. And Uruguay. Wow. I really have. I didn't realise I. Well, I, do, I know I've got people from all over the world, but it always fascinates me when I, you know, see where everyone's from. Um, there we go. Oh, right, let's just stick this star down. Let me put this one next to it. Yeah, Linda, I hate bullies too. I hate bullies. Well, I feel sorry for them, actually, because I wonder why they are the way they are. Because there's always a story behind it. There's usually a reason. Usually they're the one being bullied as well, which is why they end up bullying other people. So I actually sort of feel a bit sad for them, to be fair. Right, let's... Uh, oh, can't get the thing... Oh, I can't get the pin back in the end of the nozzle. <laughs> oh my goodness, come on. Nope. I've got my glasses on as well. There we go. Right, so that's those two. So let's just trim these bits off. Trim and trim. There we go, just stick them down. So that's that. And then I feel like I need a few coming in from the top as well. So I might use those little two there because I quite like those two and maybe some at similar on the other side I think I like balanced let's stay with balanced yes, I'm definitely living dangerously here right so let's trim up here and I'm gonna need to make that star a bit more star shaped because where I've trimmed it it ends up not being that star shaped and now I'm just thinking to myself I should have cut it up here because the spacing was perfect and then I could have trimmed it after, after I'd stuck it, but never mind, I didn't, so there we go. Right, so that's going to go there. Let's just trim this star, make it a bit more star shaped. And here, oh dear, that's not very star shaped. Oh, it's alright, you're not going to mention it, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it that much. And then that one's going to go over there. And then I'm also going to have that one there. Oh, no. They're all deciding to place themselves at the moment. Oh, my days. Come on, Mr. Stars. Can we just cooperate, please? Thank you. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to move them around a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I think I like them coming down from the bottom. I'm not sure if I do, but I'm going to put them on anyway. So, right, let's just add a little bit of glue on here, like that. Let me put that one there, like that. And we'll do the same on this side. One glue. You know you want to come out. Come on. There we go. A bit of glue on there. And I'm going to have it. Uh, it is very much symmetrical, which stars wouldn't be. But there we go. It's an ordered star. Okie dokie, Linda. Yeah, you can see it later on. <laughs> Right, let's stick this down. Oh, there we go. And we're going to raise that one up a little bit to there. Is that even straight? Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, it's stuck now, so it's tough bananas if it's not straight. I've got a bit of a wonky head today. So let's put this on here like that. And stick that down there. There we go. Right, so that's all my stars done. So next, we can go ahead and stick it 
together. Now we've done that. So what I'm going to do is on the back of this one here, on this square, we're going to add some glue. And I'm going to use wet glue. You could use, oh, I need to trim a bit, so I'll do that in a minute when it's stuck properly. Um, you could use uh, red tape if you want to, but I quite like a wet glue because it means that you've got time to kind of wiggle it and get it into position. So put a bit of glue on it. If you don't get on with it, then obviously just use red tape or whatever you find is easiest. And we're going to turn this over and I'm just going to marry this, line this up here so that it's nice and lined up on the edge and it lies flat and it's nicely lined up. So that's that like that. Before we go any further, I need to cut these little star strings off that I forgot to do earlier. So we'll cut that off there. Cut all of these off. There we go. I've got my little bits out of the way. Okay, so then we're going to concertina this down and put some um, glue on there. So let's just put some glue on this rectangle here, like that. And then we're going to concertina that down and we're literally going to fold this in half and fold it flat straight onto it. Now it's a bit bulky. I've actually used quite thick card here for my base. I think my original one, it wasn't quite so thick. And also because of my card, my matte layers and pattern layers were also quite thick. So I think between them, yeah, they've ended up being quite thick. But anyway, so that's your, oh, that's quite worked up quite well actually. I quite like that. Yeah, so that's, that's the inside. You can't really sit that well on the screen, but in real life, that star really twinkles. So as I said, if you wanted to, you know, when you do a box card and you have the struts in the middle, you could actually do that on this. So you could put, this is the base of it, a little strut in there, uh, make it a little S-shaped strut. And then that way you could have like another level in there if you wanted to in the middle. So that's what I did with this one. So if I turn this upside down, oh, I'll open it up. So I don't know if you can see there in the middle at the bottom there. You see my little S-shaped strut that I've got there. Okay, so that's, you see how it's a little less shape. And I've made it on this side, it actually blends in with the pattern. I've deliberately did it that, that, that colour. Um, but yeah, the less shape strut. And I should have done it the other way around so that it, it didn't, so this actually folded flat. So it should have, but anyway, it, it wasn't. So there you go. Um, right, so that's that. So then on the front, I've just found, because um, these papers were actually an old uh, Craft Sensations pad. So it was just called Christmas. Uh, mix and match this is the pad really nice pad um and this is from as i said a few years ago now i don't know if you can still get it they probably do something similar but it had like little toppers in it and so it's got this a very merry christmas so what i thought i might do is have it at a jaunty angle and then just having some shooting stars coming out from underneath so because of that i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount that onto pads and I'm using thicker pads, which does mean I'm going to have trouble trouble posting it, but whatever. Um, and then I think let's not use those. Let's use my do craft ones if I have any left. Where have they gone? Oh, here they are. Oh, disappearing behind something else. Oh no, they're not the ones. Well, they'll do. They will do. Um, and so I'm going to add some pads on the back. But I'm just going to leave a little bit of space. Uh, round the edges just so I've got space to tuck my shooting stars out so I need to leave some gaps so I can you know I can hide my the shooting stars underneath so I'm not going to put it all the way to the edge I think these pads are from Poundland they're not the best but they will do so that's that and then I'm just going to take the backing off of these and stick this on the front um, yeah there we go okay then I'm just going to have this at a slightly jaunty angle like that there we go and then we're going to cut some of these stars out and just have them pinging out from underneath so this one here going to cut off here and that's going to come pinging out from there like that and actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them I'm going to put them on the little pads 
just so they're off a little bit but they're not off the page so much that they're you know add even extra bulk do you know what I mean because the, this front already is thicker the pads are already thicker than than the ones I use inside so it is a bit of a chunky card at the moment but anyway and then that way I don't have to put anything on the stem because I can literally just do that and then just add my little stars coming out so I'm probably going to have one from the corner there so this die has proved very useful indeed. I am absolutely loving this die. I think this is going to get lots of use. Lots and lots of use. So that is going to go coming out from there like that. Now that's not, let me just quickly, I don't really want to trim my star because I might make it look even weirder than it already does. Oh, that's better. Like that. And then we could probably do with another little star coming out of there, maybe. We definitely need one over here. Um, I don't put my signature um, on the back. No, I should do. I remember I used to used to print off little um, used to print off little uh, stickers, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I kind of run out, and I keep meaning to go to Amazon. Or wherever and get some vista print or whatever um but i just haven't got around to it so yeah no i don't tend to i probably should and i have been asked to but i haven't got around to it <laughs> so yeah right so some mustards are coming out a little bit of a different um different shape because i've had obviously had to trim the ones that are next to them so that's okay i might leave those two together and have those coming out together and just trim off me pointy bits there we go yeah see in the uk i'd have to use a large letter for this this um would not go through the like a normal a normal stamp you'd have to pay extra um but that's fine you know special cards is what happens so it's fine i'm going to trim that there actually just to make sure i've definitely got enough for that one there we go and right let's have a look here trim these bits off it's a weird looking star that one let's just trim it down to make it a bit more normal looking uh, this side i think i don't know Bear with me making my stars here. Oh dear, that's not a very good star. Okay, some of my stars are a bit weird looking, but I'm not that bothered because they're quite busy. So once they're on and there's a few of them, you're not really going to notice unless you're very eagle eyed. So, um, yeah, right, here we go. Let's just cut this one off. Right, that's all my stars cut off. So now I just need to go ahead and stick them all down. Uh, let's have a look. Probably need another little one coming out here. Another little one coming out of here. Like that. I'm going to have a... I think I might use those two there. They seem to suit going there. Let's put that on there. And that one on there. They're great as well, these pads, because they're just small enough for things like this. And you can always trim them down as well. So that needs to go, I reckon, about like that. Yep. And then maybe one more star over here. Right there. Oh, I can maybe do some more here. I don't know. I don't want to do overkill. I don't want to do too many stars. Right, I've got a little snippy bit there. Right. Bear with while I stick everything down. Uh, that one can go in here. Oh, I need to trim a little bit off because it's too long. 
There we go. Right, that goes in there like that. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind actually, I think that's probably enough. I don't want to overkill it because I've got all the little foiled bits on the actual trees as well. And then I also need to do the back. So I've got, I did cut two of them out and I had a scrap bit of card. So I've missed off the main big star, but I had enough card around the outside to do a whole set like this. So what I was thinking was having them, let me take that one off and then having the rest of them like that. Uh, so that then this could go in the middle and you've kind of got stars coming out from it. That's what I was thinking of doing. So let's just work out what is what with that. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put, I think instead of putting them on individually, I'm going to try and leave them on their, on their strip. Um, and then just, um, then just, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> I had a sentence in my head and it just disappeared. The words got erased. I don't know. Right. Let's just stick this on the back of here and that on the back of there and then turn it around a second. So let me grab my card. So I reckon if I do that like, where are we up to? We're up to there, aren't we? And let's do it this way around. Let's just tape, let's just tape this into place, hoping it's not going to tear my card. I think it is. And then let me take these. And then we can kind of work out where we're headed with it. So I need to take this one off. I'm uh, going to have a bit of a gap there. I could fill it in with another one. So let's take those two off. So these two can come off. And then so that's like that. And then this one can come off. And then where my gaps are, I'll stick some of my loose stars on. That little one can come off because it'd be a shame to waste it. Where are we left? This way, am I? Well, I'll do for a few of them anyway. Uh, right, okay, so let's trim it there. And then I'm going to stick them in place because I've turned it round, which means I've got an equal border either side so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm deliberately sticking these silver sides down so that then I can see that they're going to fit. And then these loose ones are just going to go in between um see that looks well dodgy until you turn it over then it doesn't look quite so bad there we go that'll do right let's have one here and then a little one in here or there there i think right on the edge there there we go and then we're going to stick another one here. Some of these stars are really weird shaped. From the white, they look really weird. But actually, when you turn it around, it's not, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. Right. So that's that side. And then we're going to repeat the process on this side. So, And actually, I'm going to take this extra piece off now. Because otherwise, it might get in the way when I'm trying to write my greeting. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to take that extra bit off, and even this extra bit off. There we go. Yes, you know what? You're right. It does make perfect little fairy ones. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Right, let's work this on here, so we don't need that one there. That one can come off. This big one can come off. So that's that one, that one, that one. And then these can come off here. There we go. So let's get these in here like this. Oh, and that one. I don't want to waste that one. Ooh. No, little wand. Don't stick there. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got one that's gone rogue on me. Oh, dear. That's a, that's a wasted star. I don't know. Might be able to rectify it. Don't think it's that badly damaged. Right. And that one there needs to come off as well. So I managed three stars out of that. So like that. Let's just trim the excess off so we don't have bulk behind the card. There we go. And then fill in the blanks. 
I'm going to put a really big one at the bottom just for the sake of it. Why not? There we go. And then a little one. That we could do some diddly ones. So the die is from um, Coca Rosa Studios. I'll put the link in the description. And if you use my code, which is ICED15, you will get 15% off your order. So please don't forget to use that because it will mean you get you get a discount. And we don't want to pass off a discount. Um, right, so that's that. So now I'm going to very carefully peel off this tape. Now it's torn the card a bit, but it's fine because it's the back of the card, so it doesn't matter a bit. So there we go. Right, let's do a... Let's put some more tape on the back. In fact, I'm going to use thicker tape than this because I want it to be stuck. I was going to wet glue it, but because I've used tape, I think I'm going to have to tape it. I think that would be the best option. So we're going to tape it. So I'm just going to use some double-sided tape on it. Over the top there. And by putting it back over the top, it helps to secure those stars in, in place. So that's going to go in there like that. We turn it round and just do this middle bit like that. And stick this down like that. Now I haven't trapped that star there, so I'm just going to go back over, find another bit of tape just to make sure that bit gets trapped as well. Otherwise, I can see that we might have an escaping star. There we go. Hi Cynthia from Perth. Um, yep, yeah, we're all doing well. We're all doing well. We're making a very starry Christmas card right now. Right, so I'm going to take the backing off this tape, and then oh, let's just move them here. Yeah, Coca Rosa do have some lovely dyes to choose from, and I have to say, I've not had a single die that hasn't cut properly. And I've had what three lots now. I've ordered three lots from them, so um, yeah, that just goes to show they are they are good, and they have some really detailed ones as well. But they're really not that expensive, so definitely worth a look. And don't forget to use the code, whatever you do. Right, okay, I'm just going to stick this down. Like that. Oh, and this one here from behind this star. That wasn't very well thought out, was it? There we go, like that. And we do the same over this side. Oh, I need to mind my stars. Oh, I should have taken this out before I stuck it down. Oh, I need to mind my stars. Excuse me, Mr. Star, coming through. There we go. Right. So there we go. Now I could, if I wanted to, stick those stars down there as well, but I'm actually going to leave them free. I mean, they are a bit, they could get bent, but eh, I might add a bit, Bob, actually. Let me add some. Let me add some. Let me add some glue underneath them just because I don't want them to get stuck. In fact, actually, let's add some. Should I add some? No. Ah, yes, actually. No, let's not. <laughs> it's me changing my mind. I was just wondering whether to add foam pads underneath, but I'm not going to. Just gonna stick them with oh hello come on need to stick these I'm gonna stick them with glue I just don't want them getting battered I just have a feeling they're gonna get bent and battered if I don't stick them down so let me just stick them all down little blob underneath each one I'm gonna properly put some weight on them in a minute to make sure they stick so yeah Teresa you got some on Sunday fantastic and you ordered everything and got free shipping to the USA. Oh, to England. Sorry, not in England. Um, <laughs> that's good. No, so, uh, yeah, so my mine took about two weeks, maybe, to come, which wasn't bad, really, because they are coming from China. Um, so I think mine took maybe two weeks, maybe a bit less. I think I've had some that have been a bit quicker than that. Um, but, yeah, they, they're not, they don't take forever. You know, some places, especially in China, you, you sometimes you, you know have to wait like a month for them to arrive. They definitely don't take that long. So I think mine took just under two weeks to arrive. So that was good. Um, right, let me just stick these stars down. This card has actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting it to. So 
that's good. Oh, there we go. The other things well that I've found is they do update their dies regularly. Uh, if you subscribe to their newsletter thing, you get emailed, like if you log in or whatever, you get emailed regularly, like, you know, a few times a week. Um, but, yeah, it's it's good because, you know, you, you can see they have got fresh new dies each time and they've got, um, and they're quite often doing offers and things as well. And, yeah, so they are, they are good. Right, so... There we go. So that is the finished business. Let me move my little wands out of the way. My wands that don't need wanding. Got a few little wands ready to go. Move my tape out of the way as well. Just clear my junk out of the way. You don't want to see my junk, do you? You don't want to see all my debris. Let me clear all my debris out of the way. See, when I do me record, I try and waft everything off in between doing things. Oh, right. So. So there we go, so there we have it. So there's the front of the card with a few little wandy stars. And then you open it up inside and you've got Happy Christmas and you've got obviously your stars inside. The other things, well, you could do that little strut that we said about, put it on the bottom. You could put it at the top and dangle some. You could even hang them with thread, hang them so they just dangle down. So that's another option. And on the back there, got loads of space, you know, so you can write. So yeah, so there's your little ones. So there you go. So yeah, for those of you who've just joined us as well. Um, oh yeah, so <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, yes, so hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Leave a comment down below. I know you're leaving comments in the live chat, but leave a comment down below after the video if you want to as well. Um, yeah, uh, what was I going to say as well? Just for those of you who joined a bit later on, um, don't forget we've got the Google folder so you can share your make. So whatever you make, if you make one of these cards, then you can share it so we can all see what it looks like. Um, I'll put a link in the description in a bit uh, so you can do that. Um, you can also help fund me as well if you want. You can help um, help fund me. If you can only use PayPal, because I know Rita could only use PayPal, have a look because I think you might be able to pay YouTube using PayPal. I don't think you have to put your credit card in. I think you can use PayPal to pay. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a say thanks button. After the um, after the video is finished, there'll be a say thanks heart that appears, a little icon appear in between where it says share and download below the video. Um, and you can click on that and you can do a one-time donation. I've just started doing memberships. So um, I've got a 2 99 buy me a coffee, 2 99 pounds that is. So whatever that translates to in your currency, uh, buy me a coffee membership that's per month um and that will get you a few little perks um but it also means that um obviously that helps me in the channel uh so please do that if you can um the code for the die is iced 15 so i c e d like iced images and then 15 straight after you all in one word without spaces and that'll get you 15% off um what else was going to say uh yeah i think that's pretty much it there were some other bits at the front of the, the front at the beginning of the video start of the video um but yeah i'll let you listen back to that and also i'll try and put it in the all this information in the description box later on when youtube allows me to um yeah and then the only other thing was october the 10th 17th and 24th I won't be able to be doing live streams because one of the weeks I'm in London and then um, two of the other weeks my son is on half term holiday. So what I will do is I will um, do an edited live stream for those three three days. Uh, yeah, and then I'll be back on to doing live live streams after that. OK, so just so you little heads up for you so you know. But yeah, so that's our card for today. I'm glad I dug this out because I actually really like it. And um, these papers were quite old papers. I'm trying to think what, what these these were from. These were actually Christmas papers. These were. Um, I think it was the Believe in Magic pad from Trimcraft. Um, but because it had presents all over it, I was like, oh, I could use that for birthdays. So that's what I've done with that one. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, thank you very much, Christelle. I know a little bit of French. Uh, so I kind of get what you said there. That's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, so I hope you all have a good day, and I'm hoping I have a better day than I started with this morning. Um, <laughs> so I will see you all again soon. 
there will be another video going up on what day is it today tuesday there'll be another one going up on friday and sunday as usual um and stay tuned because the two cards that i mentioned in antonio makes they will also be going up soon okie doke bye everyone see you soon mm -mm -mm.